What's up everybody? This is Mr. Second Passport. Today, we're going to, again, try to keep it real and talk about one of the top expat destinations in Ecuador and what it's really like in Cotacachi, Ecuador, right? So today we're going to cover five reasons why I think Cotacachi sucks, man. It sucks. Um, and most of the people I know who move there don't last three years. Most. Most of them. Especially the ones that move kind of to, kind of to the center of town. Uh, they, don't, they don't last that long. A lot of the ones that I've ever met. So let's cover why that may be and what my opinion is after... I've never lived there, but I've visited there more times than I can count. And uh, let me just uh, get right to it. Number one is uh it's just too far man it, it, it's a good uh they say an hour and a half but really more like two hours from quito you know you're two hours from the nearest international airport plus um and as far as like really good health care and, and things of that sort you know as far as it being really good nearby it's debatable right there are some smaller cities nearby you like ibarra and otovalo um but how good is that is like the healthcare there for instance it's debatable but also at least as far as as i've seen there's pretty much just one way in and one way out of the city which we all saw in 2000 if you were in ecuador in 2019 when there were indigenous protests where they literally cut off um the act the main access roads I and mean, it would be really easy to cut off kotakachi really easy number two reason I don't like Kotakachi at all. Is uh, it's it's I mean it's nice. It's but it's nothing special. It's nothing special. It's just uh, your average, um, everyday Ecuadorian mountain town, a small town here in Ecuador. There's a bunch of them, and we're gonna cover one in this channel tomorrow. In fact, that could be an interesting alternative for you in the same vicinity of Kotakachi, but but I like it a lot more, and I want to explain why. It's really nothing special. There's a ton of towns just like it. Number three, right? It's overpriced. It's um, the little a little history of Kotakachi, why it got so famous. It's maybe a decade or so ago. You know, some really good internet marketers moved to moved to Kotakachi and they kind of invested there and they really pumped the place up and then they left, right? Uh, most of them. So. And that's kind of what drove the popularity of Kotakachi up, and a lot of gringos moved down. And comparatively to the quality of other mountain towns nearby here in Ecuador, it's overpriced. You know, let's just call it what it is as far as uh, property goes, both renting and buying, in my opinion. The next reason I don't like it, it's, it's one of those typical Spanish colonial towns where it's very squarey, you know, and it's all cement, and there's dog poop on the sidewalk, and, and there's no green spaces, right? No, very few trees and stuff, you know, it's just cement. So, I mean, especially if you're leaving, living right in the center of town, it's just, it's just not very green, and I don't know. If I move to a small town, that's kind of what I want to see, right? And the fifth reason I don't like uh, Kotakachi is... You know, going with the overpricing and the over publicized thing, it's it's just kind of there's too many gringos gringos per capita there for me. Like if me personally, everyone's different, but if I move abroad, I kind of wanna be and live with the locals more than around a bunch of other gringos. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have just stayed in the U.S. Right is, is how I look at it. So um, that's. That's my opinion on Kotakachi, and I'm going to give you one really interesting alternative tomorrow if you stay tuned to this channel. Subscribe, hit the like button below if you like this and want to stay informed of more updates just like this one. Take care.